Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Rivero here today with former InSync star Joey Fatone, who seems to be doing everything in the entertainment world right now. Music, Broadway, TV. He's now adding host of a new Food Network show to his resume, right? Yes, it's called Rewrapped. Wow, tell us about it. Sounds yeah, great. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, they take uh, iconic snack foods, basically have a competition, whether it's been uh, chefs or uh, you know bakers, and they try to recreate uh, iconic snack foods like the Pepperidge Farm Cheddar Goldfish. Uh, that's one of the episodes. And now uh, we're basically they do that and they have it has to be the taste smell look everything identical and then in the next round they actually have to take it and they innovate which is going to be something that they some sort of original dish that they whip up with the cheddar goldfish incorporated so into the dish. So are you a judge as well as a host on the show? I am just a host. I wow. don't have to judge, which is nice, but I have sampled some of their stuff. I was going to say. I've had my own <laughs> opinions, but my opinions don't mean crap. So, you know, I let the judges deal with that. And you got a season under your belt. It premieres this Monday. Yeah, Monday, right. two episodes back to back, 8 and 8.30. We'll so, check yeah. it out. But you're doing other TV yeah, things as well. Yeah, hosting a show the on the Liberal Network called My Family Recipe Rocks, which is also another cooking show. Okay. Uh, we basically go to people's homes, watch them cook their food. It's like, a you know, something that's been, you know, handed down from generation to generation or something that they whooped up and it's everyday people everyday kitchens I love those yeah. family recipes those are the best oh, yeah I'm just a hosting just a <laughs> plethora of hosting things yeah and the hub network as well doing a show called uh, parents just don't understand which airs in the fall so, and is that a reality series yeah it's basically like uh, Freaky Friday in a sense it's parents and their kids they're home and they get a chance to live their lives, be in each other's shoes for a day. Very so fun. the parent actually becomes the kid and the kid becomes a parent. That sounds like fun. Yeah. It's a great well, show. it realizes how hard uh, parents and kids' lives can be. Yes. So that's the, that's the yes. beauty of the show. It's always good to have a little sympathy there. Now, are there any plans for any more InSync reunion tours, perhaps? Not that I know of. No? Uh, if you know anything, let me know. <laughs> if you get a phone call from somebody, <laughs> you know, telling you. But no, we've just been doing our own kind of thing. And, uh, you know, we did the thing back uh, for the MTV Awards. Uh, which was which was fun. It was yeah. interesting to, to get back together after all these years and go, what, we really got to dance? We're older. Yeah. We're, I sweat well, a lot more. You know, a lot speaking more of, do you feel like people still see you as a former boy band I think performer? a lot of people do. Yeah. It's very interesting. They're like, oh my gosh, you got gray hairs. I go, yeah, that's what two daughters do to you. <laughs> right. That's what age does to you. <laughs> but it's always funny. How old are your daughters? Yeah, uh, 13 and 4. Wow. So do they, they must watch your old stuff and be like, Dad. My, 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 my oldest at first didn't want to watch any of it. Really? And as she got older, you know, noticing that her friends were into music and liking those types of things. And, you know, now she's kind of like, all right, well, what was that kind of song? And how was that video? You know? Is that a little strange for you having a 13-year-old daughter, which is basically your fan base when you were a performer? Very odd. Yeah. You know, you have her going to the concerts. She just went to a Jonas Brothers concert a couple years ago and was jumping up and down screaming with her friends. And I go, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It's not cool. <laughs> uh, Daddy would never do it. Just say, if you like the song, sing the song. It's right. fine. Right. You, when you're screaming, you don't get to hear them perform. You there know, you go. Thing, so. That's very good advice for your daughter. So tell us, what is next for you? This has been just been uh, excited about doing hosting these shows. You yeah. know, Rewrapped is a very exciting show, like I said, uh, airing on Monday, and it's just you know kind of focusing on hosting this stuff and, and being a parent, which has been uh, huge. Obviously, my forte. I try. I'm like a kid. Something uh, like that. Absolutely. <laughs> so, do you see any parallels between what you do now and and the stuff you did in the boy bands? Um, as far as, you know, of course music is universal and you're always running into music for some reason. For, even for me, like, you know, I, I like to still write a little bit. I don't, I'm not put an album out or anything. But as far as the, the, the getting out there and performing or entertaining, and it's really interesting for me because I wasn't really, I, I've done acting and I've done Broadway, but a lot of time my personality, I guess, shined through when I did Dancing with the Stars and when I did, you know, in sync because it was it was me on stage. What you see is what you get. Do you I think prefer a, that? Do you prefer being yourself or playing a role? Um, I like both. Yeah, I do like both because you know when when I'm having stuff as far as like when my family recipe rocks when I'm in a someone's house and in their kitchen, I'm not like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? You know, and what, breaking out and the song like, and no, dance. I'm like, hey, what's going on? You nervous? Let's have a drink. Do yeah. a shot for crying out loud. Relax. <laughs> right. We're just here talking about your food. It's not you right. know rocket surgery or but something. But this is, you know, clearly you have a great personality because not every former, you know, boy band performer can But that's can because some people be don't have host. personalities. Right. There you go. And you have a great Maybe one. they just don't have it. I don't know. They're just into their music and they're right. very serious about their music and they got to make sure that they're right. But I mean, like I said, for me, it's what you see is what you get. Right. And I think that's what shined through exactly like I said when I did Dance with the Stars. It was something that people kind of related to that, oh my gosh, he is a, he is a normal person. He has feelings. I know he actually has kids, you know, right. that kind of thing. It's like, you know, it's like I'm, I'm that normal person that can crack a beer open when you hang out next door. <laughs> and we love having you, having you here, Joey <laughs> Fatone. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.